What does a young lady like you learn to do a thing like that? <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, it should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Send out that SOS. And I'm not climbing anytime soon. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. You can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. I don't think I'm that kind of croft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, I'll type on my fast learner then. Just be careful, Laura. Give that axe a go on the rock wall over there first. I can climb this. Exactly when a new ship is coming in. We always have plenty of time to prepare. So, 
I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense, but what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagined.
kind of mortar and pestle, probably used for preparing medicinal herbs. There are small bone fragments in the mortar well. Hopefully animal bones. Telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be uh, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey, is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah, she's cute, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's Alicia. Yeah. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. I be right with you. So I was on the walk, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give it a real Glasgow kiss, you know. 
get shot of trouble nine times out of ten that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. <laughs> All right, can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Good Lord, cut, cut, cut! Cut. Uh, is, is he coming back? <sighs> I'll go get him. World-renowned archaeologist. The world-renowned archaeologist, Mr. Dr. Dr. James Whitman. It's just a fish. It's, it's fine. It's just They're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one, your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> okay, Lara. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. This coin probably found its way into Japanese circulation sometime in the mid-19th century. Thank God for our training. All those treks, all those climbs. Because if you've been preparing me for something like this all along, it's clear that there are people living here, and they're organized. They're killing and recruiting. Why? It's like some kind of cult. And a cult of what? What do they want? <laughs> <laughs> 